trends in ICT. So as the world of ICT continues to grow, the industry has focused on several innovations. These innovations cater to the needs of the people that benefit most out of ICT. Whether it is for business or personal use, these trends are the current front runners in the innovation of ICT. First, we have this convergence. Technological convergence is the synergy of technological advancements to work on a similar goal or task. For example, besides using your personal computer to create Word documents, you can now use your smartphones. It can also use cloud technologies to sync files from one device to another while also using the LTE or the 4G technology which means you can access your files anytime, anywhere. Convergence uses several technologies to accomplish a task conveniently. Next trend we have social media. Social media is a website, application, or online channel that enables web users to create, co-create, discuss, modify, and exchange user-generated content. According to Nielsen, a global information and measurement company, internet users spend more time on social media sites than on any other type of site, which this more and more advertisers use social media to promote their product. There are six types of social media. One is the social networks. These are sites that allow you to connect with other people with the same interest or background. Once a user creates his or her account, he or she can set up a profile, add people, create groups, and share content. For example, the Facebook and the Google+. Next type of social media is bookmarking sites. These are sites that allow you to store and manage links to various websites and resources. Most of these sites allow you to create a tag that allows you and others to easily search or share them. Examples is stumble upon and the Pinterest. Next type of social media, we have the social news. These are sites that allow users to post their own news items or links to other news sources. The users can also comment on the post and comments may also be ranked. They are also capable of voting on those the, uh, new articles of the websites. Those who get the most amount of votes are shown most prominently. Examples, the Reddit and the Dig. Next type of social media we have is media sharing. These are sites that allow you to upload and share media content like images, music, and video. Most of these sites have additional social features like liking, commenting, and having user profiles. Examples, the Flickr, the YouTube, the Instagram. Next example of social media, we have the microblogging. These are sites that focus on short updates from the user. Those subscribed to the user will um, be able to receive these updates. Examples is the Twitter and the Plurk. Last social media type we have here is blogs and forums. These websites allow users to post their content. Other users are able to comment on the said topic. There are um, several free blogging platforms like Blogger, WordPress, and Tumblr. On the other hand, forums are typically part of a certain website or a web service.
Okay, so next trend we have here is the mobile technologies. The popularity of smartphones and tablets has taken a major rise over the years. This is largely uh, because of the device's capability to do tasks that were originally found in personal computers. Several of these devices are capable of using high-speed internet. Today, the latest mobile devices used is the 5G networking, uh, which is currently the fastest mobile network. Also, mobile devices use different operating systems. We have the iOS used in Apple devices such as the iPhone and iPad. We have the Android, an open source operating system developed by Google. Being open source means several mobile phone companies use this OS for free. BlackBerry OS used in BlackBerry devices, Windows Phone OS, a closed source um, proprietary operating system developed by Microsoft. And the Symbian, so the original smartphone OS used by Nokia devices, the Web OS. Originally used for smartphones, now used for um, smart TVs. And the Windows Mobile, developed by Microsoft for smartphones and pocket PCs. And the last trend we have is the assistive media. Assistive media is a non-profit service designed to help people who have visual and reading impairment. 